In the present video, we're going to try some three-dimensional polar and spherical plots using the plot commands. Let's get going by going into this um, WX Maxima interface and then we go into the plot menu, click plot 3D and we're going to select the equation 5 times 1 minus cosine of t, you're going to call that t. And I'm going to go here where it says option and it says setting map cylindrical. So that changes the variables from um, x to phi and z and y to z. And remember, when you're dealing with cylindrical coordinates, the coordinates, the function, the function depends on the angle theta and on the vertical distance z. So I'm going to change this to t being my angle theta. And we're going to see what we get now. We get something there, but that's not correct. Actually, we need to specify, I'm going to put an enter here, the coordinates for the extent of x and y, and I'm going to do it like this. And put a comma right here. With these, when I do shift enter, then now it looks more like the cardioid, which is the uh, limit of this cylinder, and then the z direction is constant. Now, that's a, an option. Let's now change here to z multiplying on 1 minus cosine theta. So that's going to be an expanding, an expanding kind of a cone. Let's look at that. Shift enter. There you go. Because the z value, as, in, as the z value increases, then the value of multiplying the one minus cosine t um, will increase. And I'm going to try one more, and that's like raising this to square. Shift enter, and it gives me kind of an eight shape with a eight shape cone going up into that direction. That's an example of a cylindrical coordinate. Um, situation now we're going to do a plot plot 3d where we're going to change the option to a spherical now when we change the spherical then the angles are or the angles of theta and phi and let's say the theta goes from 0 to 2 pi and phi per minus 2 pi to 2 pi to, to draw for example a sphere all we have to do is a constant radius so like let's say 5.0 and it shows like some segment of the sphere. But in reality, I need to add here coordinates x. I'm going to try minus 10 to 10, y minus 10 to 10, z. I'm going to try that, minus 10 to 10, and a comma here. And that indeed gives me the sphere. It's not at scale, obviously. And it's not possible to change the point of view uh, with the software as we did with the plot 3D here. But it is indeed the shape of a sphere. Now let's try um, the, the radial distance where we're trying to signify a function of theta and phi. So let's try something like sine of theta multiplied by the cosine of phi. phi. Let's see what we get. We got that little tiny thing in there that's not very good. I'm going to put like a, a value of 5 here multiplied to scale it up until it gives you something like that. I'm going to try even bigger here like 10. And that's what we're getting. Anyway, I just wanted to demonstrate the use of a spherical and cylindrical coordinates 